Whenever it comes to phone cases, they usually have one or two compelling reasons for why you should buy them. Drop protection, the material they're made out of. But when it comes to the Armadillo Tech Vanguard series case, there are 21 reasons to be interested in it. And those 21 reasons represent feet. It has 21 feet of drop protection, and they tested that up to 20 times. In addition to that, it's also wireless charging compatible, and it has a kickstand on the back that can work either vertically or horizontally. Sound interesting to you? Well, stay tuned and we're going to take a look at the Vanguard series case for the Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here with the Vanguard series case by Armadillo Tech. And I'm not just keen on it because they're based out of Texas and because it's named after our state animal, the armadillo, which is really cool. But the 21 feet of drop protection, it's mill standard drop protection rated, but drop tested up to 21 feet, which is just phenomenal. And then of course, it's got the really cool kickstand on it and it's wireless charging compatible, which I did test myself to make sure that it works. Now it does seem like it takes about four or five seconds to make a connection. So it's a little bit laggier than some other cases, which I think is because of the material and the distance, but once it makes the connection, you're good to go. And just like its predecessor, it's still a two-piece series case. That means you have to put the phone inside the little phone tray and then pop it into the main body of the case to complete the case itself. So as you can see, it's very easy. Just pop it in there, make sure you line it up with the side with the buttons on it, pop that in, and then you want to put the bottom side in first. Make sure you hold on to the plastic edges. This took me several tries to get this right. It is kind of a pain in the rear end because the plastic is just so thin. But once you get everything in there and locked into place, you want to go ahead and push around on the edges to make sure everything seals up properly. The top right corner was giving me some headache, but eventually I got it and then everything locked and snapped into place. Easy peasy. And a couple more seconds here of me fighting with the phone case. Now, this was the most difficult part of the whole thing was getting this sealed up properly. But once you get everything in there, you get it in, you get it sealed up properly, you can see that the design is top notch. Uh, it is made out of good quality materials. It's rugged, it's durable, the edges are reinforced. It just looks great. It's got recessed cutout protection for the camera and all the sensors, the LED flash and all that great stuff. It really has a nice deep cutout so you can place it down on a flat surface, not have to worry about scratching up your camera at all. And then you've got the phone stand, which you can use either horizontally or you can stand it up vertically, however you choose to do it. And the phone stand is actually really easy to pop out and put back into place. So no worries there whatsoever. Now you've got the cutouts for the microphones on top. And then, like I said, it does have reinforced corners on it, which are really, really sturdy. They're very dense. So if you drop this, that's what gives it all that extra protection in case you drop it on the ground. Easy to get to the stylus. It does have that little protruding cover over it like some other cases have as well, which keeps you from accidentally activating the little stylus button and popping it out. Then you've got the nice dust cover for the USB-C charging port on the bottom. It pushes and seals into place as well. And then you got a nice cutout for the speaker so you get easy access to the sound and don't really have to worry about covering it up. Now, the buttons on the side are nice. They've got nice responsive feedback to them. So you push them, they're nice and clicky, but they don't make a real loud audible sound. And then you've got the textured grips on the side, so you don't have to worry about dropping it. Now, I will say that the textured grips are nice, but the phone itself is very big, so the case is also large. So uh, I think you're gonna have a hard time dropping it anyway. But it is nice that it has a textured grip. And then you have the protective lip around the screen itself, which is one part of that phone tray, and then also because of the way it, the cutouts are. So you have raised protection. If you place your phone down on a flat surface, like I just illustrated, you don't have to worry about scratching up your screen. So that's a really nice protective feature as well. And it works out great because there's already the screen protector that came on the phone. But according to the specific instructions of the case online, it says that it's supposed to be a screen protector friendly. So that's all I've got on the Armadillo Tech Vanguard case. It comes in multiple colors. And again, you can pick it up for $39. Solid option if you're interested in a super protective case. So that's all I've got. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section and I'll get back with you. I'll see you guys next time.